No, the kangaroo's right. The, the what? <laughs> what did you call me? I'm not a kangaroo, mate. Oh, and this whole time I thought you were. If you're not a kangaroo, what are you? I'm a bunny. The Easter bunny. People believe in me. Well, 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 dear viewers. Today's yeah, video is gonna be about kangaroos. No, my little me. It will be about rabbits. And as you know, rabbits brings luck. If you subscribe now, leave a like, you will have a one full year of luck. No troubles will touch you. Trust me, it works. The first game will be Armelo. Armelo is a fairy tale board game combining deep tactical card play, rich tabletop strategy, and RPG elements. And main thing you can play as a rabbit of. Actually, you can choose three rabbits, but we will play Amber. Amber is a very cute character. She is not very strong but can use magic a lot and can cause other players a lot of troubles. Armelo is about throwing a dice and hope for, for a good luck. Game have it all, battle, challenges, different ways to win. And another cool thing about this game is dices. After each match, no matter do you win or you lose, you will get a chest. If you open this chest, you will get dices. You can collect these dices, add them to your heroes. Personally, I like it a lot, cause you can upgrade your dice, equip your heroes, and you're fighting against other human players. So, whose dice are more beautiful? Of course, mine. Armelo is not a new game, but is it worth playing? I say yes. Of course, you must try it. And it's time to fight this arrogant mouse, Zosha. She dares to attack me, and we win. Of course I win. And it's time to move to the new game. It called Overgrowth. And I'm gonna tell you, this game is just crazy. Crazy at all. It's not a classical RPG, it's more parkour, action, fighting game. But you will love it. Once you install it, you will not forget it. You will play not a cute little bunny, but you will play brutal fighter rabbit. The world of Rabbitlandia suffered, and it needs a hero, and who gonna be this hero? Of course you. You must fight this evil rabbit and bring peace to the land and free your friends. And as you play as a rabbit, this game is focused on jumping. You will have to jump a lot. This game have no gravity laws at all. You will have to jump a lot and it is fun. There are four different stories that can be played. In every single of them you will basically fight as a rabbit, cat or a dog against other animal tribes. The stories are fine, but not extraordinary. The good thing is that the second story follows the first one. You will enjoy the combat bunny journey. The combat is rather simple, but enjoyable. You will also have to do some jumps and runs, which is quite entertaining. If you die, there is never a lot of time. You can try and against instantly. As your skill improves, you see that the game is not about winning, it's about experimenting to make the coolest action that you can. There are weapons in the game and I really love them. Despite the fact that can you make one hit kill, 
If you throw weapon from behind or throw a spear into opponent's head, feels like a total badass. The title speak for itself. When you start rolling around, punching, jump kicking and slicing everybody, it feels like a master of weapon until I got constantly kicked while rolling. But it was nice while it lasted. This game have no health bar. I like it honestly. You just kind of have to guess if you're about to die or not, since they don't bother you with this little health bar. But you have to watch how much blood you lose, especially when it comes to weapon. The campaign is poor, I honestly expect a lot more. The story is ok, but I don't find the dialogue very interesting. Each level is short, and it won't take you any longer than a couple of hours to complete. There is other stories too, but they are even shorter. Overall, I'll recommend this game, but only on sale, and if you plan to make a mod, it will be perfect. The game and Ryan have a great potential for amazing stealth, parkour, fighting game. If you don't leave a like yet, it will be perfect time to do so. Also leave your comment, write your opinion about this game. And we will move on to the next game, called Banner of Ruins. Assemble your party, answer the call, win the war. Build the deck and fight a series of turn-based combats with up to 6 party characters through the city of Downs Point. Each character can unlock a set of unique cards and abilities that can augment your deck in powerful, exciting ways. And of course, you can recruit rabbits in. Banners of Ruins is still in early access stage, but you can buy it on Steam. Main features of the game. Build your deck by looting, buying and locking of different cards. Weavers and bears, wolves of reasons, build your party up to 6 animals to fight your enemies. 6 races to explore, with unique racial card pools and passives to come from. Level up your characters to unlock talents cards and powerful abilities that will drastically impact your strategy. Loot, collect weapons and armor, each way, navigate the streets in dynamic card driven campaign. Banner of Wounds is not an easy game, it's a very hard call. There are three stages, each with a very difficult force, leading up to the big boss in the end. Your characters level up using XP, and when they do, you will get extra choice wherever to upgrade their stamina or willpower, but also get a chance to give them either an extra talent or character attribute. In terms of how the game looks and presented, those who played Armelo, which we covered before, should feel right at home there. The game looks absolutely fantastic and players really smoothly. My only wish is that there was a little more character animation in the battle. As for rabbits in this game, they are very brutal. They don't have a sense of humor at all. Only fight, fight and win. Banner of Ruins simply decided to give a roach-like mechanics a boost, test your every choice. Compared to other stable deck builders, the games feel harder and more dramatic, punishing for every wrong choice you make, on the battlefield as well as in your card choices. You get lot choices less frequently, and with a complex and punishing combat system, Banner of Ruins give no second chance and take no prisoners. So I advise you to keep an eye on Banner of Ruins. So dear viewers, tell me in comment section, which game do you like best? Which rabbit suit you most? And also, tell me, 
which animal you would like me to make video about next time. And of course, don't forget to leave a like, share this video and subscribe to my channel.